Hello, beautifuls. What's up? You missed me, didn't you? Ha ha. I have an excuse why I wasn't here last week. I was kind of in the emergency. Well, no, I wasn't Saturday, so my bad. But I was in a lot of pain. I actually, I'll start from last Sunday. I'll do my week first. Because it's been one hell of a week <laughs> to tell you. Um, so I'll start with last Sunday. Last Sunday I was in the ER. Um, I was having excruciating pain in my hip, my left hip, that started on Saturday morning. And I kept getting this really loud popping in my hip, so I thought I have uh, EDS, Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome, which um, I have joint hypermobility, which I can't even speak with that um causes my joints to dislocate easily so they thought it was my hip dislocating but they weren't sure and they thought that was really bad so i had to go to the er and i was in like so much pain i couldn't sit i couldn't walk or lay down without being in pain um ibuprofen and ice was doing nothing at all um so yeah, it was bad and i ended up we found that I tore a muscle in my groin. So that was lovely. So then Monday I was in a lot of pain and it wasn't good at all. So I stayed home from school. And then Tuesday was lovely. I was on crutches too because of this. Because I wasn't supposed to be putting weight down on my leg. And Tuesday was a passing out day. Lovely pots. So listen to this little incident. It was right after I woke up. I got downstairs. I passed out. Landed on my bad hip. And got whacked in the head with my crutches. Lovely way to start a morning, isn't it? I know, right? So yeah, that day I pretty much spent all day on the couch. Because I was supposed to rest. I hate bed rest. Like a lot. It's boring. <laughs> um, so yeah, and then Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, Wednesday morning I was supposed to go to school, but I didn't because I was still, I was passing out again and throwing up and it was just lovely. But I had physical therapy at noon and I went to that and that was good. Um, and then I kind of chilled and did some homework. And then I went to my sister's volleyball game because she was supposed to sing the national anthem. And it was at my old school. So I went and ended up they did all their little intro crap. And then she never sang because the coach was a meanie poop and said no. So I was disappointed. I had my camera ready and everything. So yeah, so then we stayed till the end. This is where the night got interesting. Um, just as we were pulling out, I, well, let's just say I got into the car. I never sit behind my mother. We have a, we have or had a big conversion van, which is like the high top vans. Like I could stand in my van and I always sit here. I'll draw a little diagram, but I don't know because this could be backwards on here. Let me see. I don't know if it's going to be backwards. If it's going to flip it. You see? Okay. We'll just just say that's the front of the car. Okay. So let's just say this is the driver's seat. I always sit here or here. But Wednesday, I decided to sit here which was a dumb decision. But we were lucky. We normally put my wheelchair. It's right in here. But luckily, you'll find out later. Sorry, we put it in the trunk and why. So we were so lucky. But anyway, we were pulling out. It was rainy and dark and miserable. Just chilling like normal. I've left that parking lot probably like a million times. Um... 
I used to go to school there every single day. So, um, yeah. So we were pulling out. I was looking out the window. And out of nowhere, within seconds, we were hit. We saw nothing. The dude didn't have his freaking lights on. It was nuts. We were lucky. One, he didn't flip the car. Two, that no one was more injured. I strained my neck. Um, which now, since my left hip was, is bad, it's, and I did something to my shoulder, it's my whole left side. So I'm like, lovely. Um, my mom strained her neck. It has like neuropathy, bleh, neuropathy type stuff. And then my sister, I don't know what she did. She just got a little whiplash. Um, so we're blessed we didn't get more injured. Um, they said actually the high top fan saved our lives if we were in any other van um i would have been dead because see here's the car here's where i was sitting he hit right here right straight smack dab into me um so yeah it was pretty scary they're surprised and it hit right where the gas tank was so they were surprised one the car didn't flip Two, the car didn't blow up. <laughs> Three, that we weren't more seriously injured. So it was a miracle. Um, I'm still pretty shaken up by it. And our big fan is totaled. So sad. I love that fan so much. Um, but yeah, so. I mean, it sucked really bad, but it was so freaking scary. And the dude was a douchebag. Pardon my language. They said he didn't even, when he came, his path, he was coming. Well, he ran into the left side of our car. But the way he was driving and we were pulling out, you would think he would kind of try to swerve a little bit out of the way to not hit us. But he ended up, his passenger side was all messed up. So he swerved into our car, straight into our car. And one of our friends actually witnessed it. The whole volleyball team actually witnessed it. Said he used no brakes whatsoever to even try to stop. He had no lights on. It was just, and he swerved straight into the car. Which is like, dear lord. And then he had the audacity to tell the cop that they didn't stop at the stop sign. It's like, we were sitting there for five minutes. It's just, oh. The kid, he was like, he was eating and probably on his cell phone. So, yeah, that was that. Um, so, yeah, that's been my week. Thursday, Friday, I've kind of just been blah, exhausted. And I've been getting a lot of headaches from my neck strain. And been in a lot of pain. Yeah. So, that was my week. And then today... I was chilling out. I just got back from church a little bit ago. So, yeah. I guess I'll get to questions. Um, I have random questions written down. I apologize if they're wrong or they're from like forever ago. I wrote them down and I'm, there's not many of them, but there's only questions from um, Caroline, Abby, and Rachel. So, I don't know how old these are, but I will answer them anyway woo um caroline asked i have two for you um what time do you wake up and go to sleep and do you wake up to the sun normally i'm not up past 10 30 p.m um there's on rare occasions that i am um but yeah i can't stay up very late and um i wake up at Probably 7.30, 7, 7.30 for school because I have to be in school by 8.30. Um, so, yeah, that's the time I wake up. And I do not wake up to the sun. My blinds are closed. My mom comes to me and says, Karen! Like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and you also asked, have you had a tilt table test? 
and what is your experience? Yes, I have. And let me just say, pure torture. Pure torture. Oh my god. It was a while ago I had it, but oh my god, it was bad. I just remember they strapped me to this table. And they stood me up. And I was standing there and my heart rate started going really fast. And I felt like I was going to puke. And then my arms and legs were feeling like icebergs. I felt like I was going to pass out. I couldn't feel, then later, I couldn't feel my arms and my legs. And I'm like, let me down! And they wouldn't. It was just mean. And I'm like, put me down, put me down. And they wouldn't do it. And then everything started going fuzzy. And I couldn't hear them. And I'm like, damn it, put me down! And then the time ran out, so they put me down. It was just bad. Now, I've never seen anything like this. Really. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Of course, my the cardiologist who knew about POTS, who is my cardiologist now, was on leave then. So I had little mm, doctors. So, yeah. So that was my experience. That was probably back in 2008, I believe. So, 10, 9, like three years ago. Um, what? Making a video? Sorry. <laughs> um, so yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, that was my experience. Um, Abby, good to see you. Beautiful. Um, your question was, do certain things trigger your POTS? Yes, they do. Um, I have problems with hot liquids, like coffee, hot chocolate, soup, that type of stuff. Um, it makes me get, feel all like, feel like I'm on fire, and then I pass out. So, I have to stick to, like, iced coffee, if I even drink coffee, um, and strong smells is really bad, like, chemistry, oh my god, worst thing ever, especially with, like, explosions and smells and, whoa, I feel awful in chemistry class half the time, which sucks, um, but yeah. And especially, loud noises don't bother me a lot, but if it's in combination with, like, smells, then I'm just done for. I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. Um, I believe. I don't think I really have anything else that I can think of at this moment that trigger my pots. Um, other than, like, the normal standing for a long time. Um, or bobbing up and down of the head. Like, when I do squats, I have problems. I pass out. My PTs love that. <laughs> I'm just going up and down and up and down and blob. It's fun. My mom PT, I love her to death. And I was down on the floor. And I, I, came, I came to pretty fast. I'm just laying there in the middle of the physical therapy office on the floor. He goes, want a yogurt? Oh, I'm good. Oh, God, it was hilarious. I love her, though. Um, so, yeah, that's all I can think of for that at the moment. Um, Rachel asked, do certain smells remind you of things? Um, yeah, I guess. Certain, there's certain smells I get at times that remind me of people. Like, I'll be walking through my house one point, and I had a home nurse. <laughs> She's my favorite home nurse. Um ever and you know how certain people just have different smells and they're not bad smells it's just different smells and at times i haven't even seen her in months and i'll be walking through my house and be i smell sherry <laughs> like it's so weird 
or like I'll have random smells that remind me of my doc, my old doctor or like something like that. It's really weird, <laughs> but it's funny. So I guess, yeah, or like, yeah, mm -hmm. so that's that. Or I'll get like smells that remind me of like the beach or something. Um, and then you asked, do you feel grimy after a sick day? Oh my god, it's so gross. And it's not like I even have to be dirty. I could have been, like, taking a shower, like, in that morning. But somehow, I just feel disgusting after, <laughs> by the end of a sick day, I'm like, oh, I feel, like, gross. It's hard to explain, but it's, I know exactly what you're talking about. It's just, oh, yeah, it's not nice <laughs> i'm always like oh i gotta get a shower and get washed and change my clothes and it ooh. <laughs> and i haven't even done anything i've been like laying around all day so yeah um bah, 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 bah. that's all the questions oh yeah i guess that's it i want to see all your beautiful faces Dude, cause I say so. And I'm the boss, yo. The bomb shizzle. Now I'm just rambling. Oh, I gotta tell you something. It was so funny. I, I crack up every time now I hear the name Delilah. Cause I was watching Family Feud. And oh my god, Family Feud. I love that show. I always try to guess what they're saying. Um. And... <laughs> The question was, what, um, name a flower that is also, can also be used as a girl's name. <laughs> and, like, they were picking, like, Daisy and Lily and, like, the normal ones. And then the one girl goes, Delilah, that is not a flower. <laughs> and I was, like, peeing my pants. I was like, oh, my God. That's good. That's good. That's good in the hood. Brown chicken uh, dance break. Mm 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 mm. Oh yeah, now break down, Colleen. Oh yeah. As you can tell, I have a lot of energy at the moment. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I don't know. Um. So yeah, that's pretty much it with me. I'll have to pause this because I didn't plan a question like normal, so I have to think of one. So, yeah. I'll think of one and I'll be back. I'll be back. Yeah. yeah. Gonna be, oh, I don't know what my question gonna be. I don't know what my question gonna be. Oh, I don't know what my question gonna be. I have no idea. I have no idea. I have no idea. Ooh. Who's your favorite Disney character? Ready? Bum 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 bum. Like my pillowcase. It's Raja! I think that's his name. <laughs> uh, on the back. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I need to, like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like I've had too much caffeine today, but I haven't had any. That's a lie. I had a chocolate donut. <laughs> that is this morning. Oh my goodness. So yeah. I guess I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you all next week. Peace out, Girl Scouts. I love you. Yes, I do. I do, I do, I do. I love you. Yeah.